Hey guys, Chris at the Ultimate Recycler. I've got at the moment lots of compost bins and they're all producing really well. Um, trying to build up some good soil for our yard uh, and also create a bit of nice fertile potting mix. So uh, that's all good. But my dilemma is that at the end of the process when the peat cools down and it's pretty well right, um, I'm getting hundreds and hundreds and thousands of worms move in, which is fantastic. They're doing a great job. Uh, adding worm castings, breaking down the last of it. But my dilemma is I don't really want to sentence them to a dizzying, tumbling death in my uh, in a trommel. So this video is a bit of an experiment to see if I can separate them from the uh, from the bulk of the compost. Alright, what I've built here is a, uh, I'll call it a worm separator. Um, I've just used some old shower screen segments on top of a timber pellet. I have it on a slight slope so it drains to this end. Um, and the soil from the compost bin, after it's been sitting for a month or so and is well and truly infested with worms, I'll spread out in this section. Uh, now the far, the downhill side of it, um, I will be putting some mats which I can soak with water and keep that nice and damp and the other other end uh, it'll be spread out to I don't know maybe about six or eight inches thick the other end I'll leave um, to dry out so I'll keep the downside damp and hopefully all the worms migrate from the dry section down to the damp section and I can shovel out half of it to uh, then use in the garden and I've concentrated my worms to uh, maybe put back into another compost bin that's at the stage where I want the worms to do their work. I'll cover the whole thing with a, a sheet of iron here so that um, the rain doesn't muck up my, my dry section. And if we just come around here, this compost bin is now ready to, to put into the, the separator. and. Um, it's, it, I went through a cycle of hot and cold and hot and turned it regularly and uh, what we have now is beautiful black rich soil basically created from um, grass clippings, uh, shredded paper, coffee grounds um, and a bit of cardboard and some veggie scraps so I've just layered it and um, I've let it sit for the last six weeks or so and it's cooled down and uh, I'm not sure if we'll see now, but if I go into here, give it a bit of a turnover. There is there is hundreds and hundreds of worms in here. So they've moved in. Um, they're natural worms. They've just come up from the soil. Um, so they've been doing their job for the last month or two. So I'll now transport it to the uh, my worm separator and see how that works. So the compost bin's basically empty, it's just a little bit in the corners. Um, that will be fine, I'll spread that around the base and any worms that are left in there will soon uh, disappear back into the ground once it starts to heat up. So I can put the front back on the compost bin now. Um, and if you like the compost bin, I'll put a link on here as to an instructional video I did on how to make these. Uh, it works very well and by being able to move a panel makes it really easy to shovel out. So I'll put that back together shortly and uh, start the next compost. Uh, the section here that I've made has filled up nicely. Um, so uh, it's a fair bit of soil in there. It's quite loose because I've just shoveled it in and it'll probably settle down a bit. So all that's left to do now is to grab some of these carpet mats and uh, lay them over the top on the uh, the lower end of it and I'll water them fairly regularly so that the soil stays damp and leave this other side here to dry out uh, on nice sunny days I'll take the uh, um, lid off it I've got this as I said before I've got this sheet of iron here as a lid to keep the rain off it but to just it aid it drying out it's uh, winter here and it's not overly warm during the day so it's going to take a long time to dry out in summer it should work a lot quicker um, but on nice days I'll take the tin off and 
with what little sun we're getting get to it. So um, I've just put some loose boards at this end which I can take out easily and if it all goes to plan then this front half will be uh, pretty much worm free at some stage and I can just shovel it straight out the end and then as I mentioned before I'll probably run it through a, a trommel or a sieve to take any uh, pieces out that didn't compost very well and they can just go back into a compost bin and the rest of it should be absolutely beautiful and very fertile soil so um, I'll add to this video at some stage down the track and show you what the finished product is okay it's actually been about six weeks since I shot the first part of this video and uh, the the worm separator has been um, working quite well I've had the, the tin off uh, on sunny days recently uh, we're just into early spring here now and uh, the weather is improving we've had a bit of rain but it's still quite a dry year but um, let's see I haven't had this lid off for um, probably a week now so let's give you a look at um, how things are going so I'll take this sheet of tin off bumping the camera there and all the noise now it's dried out quite nicely this end um, I haven't had to water it a great deal on the on the mats because it stayed quite damp um, not that any rain's got in there but just that it hasn't been overly warm so so where the air hasn't been getting to it it's uh, it's stayed damp and the worms have hopefully all migrated down to the the damp end um, now this soil here at this end you can see it's it's quite friable now it's it's still damp but um, it certainly dried out a lot from where, when I shoveled it in. Uh, these green bits are, are the remainder of um, some labelling that was on cardboard. Um, the worms ate all the cardboard but these are, must have a plastic film in them so they haven't been eaten. But that's fine, they'll sieve out quite well. So I don't think we'll find any worms here. It's damper down, oh there's one. Okay, so there's still a few worms in here but not very many. Um, and as I said I think in the first clip over summer and the warmer months this part should dry out very quickly so given that the worms don't like to be too dry one would hope they've migrated down here and look at this straight away they're all uh, under the carpet which stayed quite damp I'll lift this one up oh there's just worms everywhere so the migration's certainly happening uh, this soil is still quite muddy and I think if I put the digging fork in here we would probably spear a few hundred worms and dislodge a thousand or so more so so it's worked really well they've gone from the drier part down to the wet part uh, much better to get the worms to move than to try and pick them out or sieve them or tumble them um, so this top half I could now shovel out there's a couple of odd worms in there won't matter and um, the rest of it's concentrated I could then shovel that back into a compost bin that's ready that has cooled down and I want the worms to do the job um, there's that many in there I could probably even sell them to fishermen so um, this is working really well um, I'll, um, I'll finish this up now and uh, yeah ask away any questions if you're interested in my worm farm I'll do another clip on that um, and Feel free to subscribe to my channel and um, I'll also I thought of doing a, a bit of a post on or a video on on the feed that I mix up for my worms um, but these ones have all just occurred naturally they've come up into my compost bin after it's cooled down and uh, and they've multiplied on their own so conditions must be very favorable and they're doing their job to help create soil uh, okay, so tune in next time. Uh, I'll have something of interest, I'm sure.